Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Big day on FIFA Ultimate Team coming this Friday, and I want to get you guys ready for it. I want to talk about it, and I want to cover all the aspects of icons and icon swap set 2 that is coming on Friday. Now, obviously, according to the old icon pitch notes um, that EA had put out earlier this year, this is the time period that first kind of... Um, mark in the road that first change in the road in the graphs that they showed us of the icon um the progression of icons this year in fifa ultimate team with the prime icons coming into packs in december this graph basically right here um this is the first time we've actually seen a change since the beginning of the game base icons which have been out since early access are now going to be going out of packs as you can see here this red line the base icons are here and the primes are going to now be in packs as of this Friday. We think it's going to be this Friday. Uh, it would make sense, right? Because season two in FIFA Ultimate Team ends this Friday. And that would be like a reset time for the season for prime icons to come into packs and also for a new icon swap. So again, this is what we're all talking about today in this video. I want to talk about prime icons, how they're going to come onto the market. I want to talk about their pack weight. I want to talk about what about the mids and the base icon prices. Are the base icons going to rise out of packs? Is it going to be all base icons rise? What's going to happen with some of those prices? And just generally talking about what could happen on Friday as well as look at some possibilities for icon swaps. So I'm going to take I'm going to talk about the prime icons and the market stuff first and we'll talk about icon swaps. Uh, towards the end. So first thing I want to look at is I added some of these cards my transfer targets right now to kind of talk about them. These icons right now in the game are some of the most desired and some of the most used icons um, inside of FIFA Ultimate Team. We have Hullet, Carlos Alberto, Ronaldo, Vieira, and Del Piero. Now these are just some of, there's a few of them, right? This is just a few. There's a lot of very meta and a lot of very used icons in this game. And I want to take you guys through some scenarios and looking at some card prices and talking about how I feel these primes are going to affect the market in the coming days. So the first person I want to look at here is Hullet, right? Now, a lot of us know that we, as we go and look at Hullet's graph on Footbin, a lot of you guys know what's been happening with these icons recently, right? It's been no secret. After Black Friday, these a lot of these cards went up. In Hullet's case, he's been rising for the entirety of the year. As people get more coins and there's more demand, more people actually get the coins to afford the Hullet. 6.2 million for the middle version of Hullet is crazy. And basically, since the beginning of December, the week after Black Friday, look what has happened with this card. Down from 6.1, 6.2 mil, down to 5.5 in a week. Next week comes, he's down to 5 million coins flat, which is still kind of where he is right now. Um, these cards have just continually dropped and continually dropped. I think it's a combination of things. A combination of the promos running back-to-back, -back, team of the group stage promo being out, incredible card weight, cards are in packs, incredible promo team, and obviously people are knowing that this uh, the, the prime icons are going to be into packs soon, um, but I think the promos kind of um, combined with the, the thought that when the primes come into packs, that the middles and the babies might lose some value, especially the middle, I think is really what started to cause some of the sell-off in some of these really upper tier, high echelon meta icons, especially like this Rude Hullet card. Because, you know, there's probably a lot of people in FIFA right now that want to buy this card for their team, and well, they want to buy the Prime now that the Prime is going to be coming out instead of the middle, which has been the highest version that has been out so far. Because people in FIFA want the best card possible right they want the new they want the fresh they want the best possible uh, and they're willing to pay for it so that's why i think this card has been down a little bit and a lot of the other icons because uh people just want to get the best version in their squad so what about a guy like Colt? what's going to happen this weekend when primes go into packs well first of all the primes are going to come into packs and they're not going to have a drop with drop percentage like these uh team of the year nominees or even like the baby icons have had right prime icons getting packed on the market 2.9 percent for a team of the year nominee out of a prime gold players pack people keep talking about these prime icons coming out on the market and they're going to lower the prices of the metas because it's going to kind of push the prices down as the primes come on right i don't think that's going to be the, the case day one we're talking day one friday when these come into packs i really don't see them being packed enough to get on the market and to be like undercut and relisted like every Friday when we have a new promo, right? 
the card prices keep going lower because somebody packs that card and they keep undercutting the lowest seller until it reaches a price where the market feels like it's a price where they want to buy that card and where they feel like the card is worth it, right? That's what a market means. Supply and demand meeting in the middle to find a spot where people are comfortable, you know, where that price is setting comfortably. That's supply and demand. And right now this, this supply is more and the demand is less on a card like this because people are selling it because the prime is coming out and that's why you see his price drop. But speaking of supply, when the prime icon comes onto the market and when it gets in packs on Friday, even if we have lightning rounds, like 50Ks, 100Ks and 125,000 coin lightning rounds, I would be very surprised if I saw on the PlayStation 4 market, I would be very surprised if I could count the number of prime hullets on the market on more than one hand. I do not think there will be five, more than five prime hullets come onto the market on Friday. I'm talking like a full day after all the lightning rounds. I don't think I would see more than five, honestly. The pack weight for these cards is going to be super, super low. They're not, they're icons, right? Those, they don't get packed regardless. And that's why I think some of this panic selling, I guess you could call it, on some of the icons could be a bit premeditated. And I think that there could be a little bit of a rise on icons like Hullet, on icons possibly like Del Piero. Uh, that's going out of packs. It's a different scenario. Maybe even an 88 Vieira, who's also taking a pretty hit, big hit in price. I think the really, really meta, like top tier icons, that are middle cards that are still gonna be in packs that are like the the really meta guys, I do still think there's a possibility that they go up a little bit on Friday into this weekend because people that are, if there are people that are selling the middles to because they wanna buy the prime, I don't think the prime is gonna be out in the market for people to actually buy, right? I, I really don't think that's gonna be possible for many people on this weekend, right? Prime hole, it's probably gonna have a price range. I mean, this hole right here has a price range of 11.1 .1 mil. I would assume that the prime hole is going to have a price range of somewhere around like 13 mil, right? It would make sense. Maybe even 14 or 15 million coins. So that card's going to come out of the market at like the moment's price of the the cards last year that came out, right? When like prime R9 was extinct at 15 mil or whatever that was. I think that's how it's going to be for the primes right now this year because if EA is going to know, if they want people to buy, people that want to buy those cards are going to pay the big bucks for them and then they're going to lose coins and lose value over time. That's how it is with new cards coming into the game. Uh, but that's kind of how I feel about the metas. I feel like some of them could rebound slightly, right? Maybe this Hullet is right now at like 5-1 or 5-0-5-0, you know, just over 5 million coins. Maybe uh, the Prime comes out, it's at like 12, 13 million. And this card goes back up to like 5.4, 5.5, maybe, you know, maybe a rise kind of like that. I would not expect a huge rise back up to 6 million, but just maybe a little bit of a rise there. Now I want to talk about some of the babies that are going out of packs, right? So we talked about the supply and demand. There's still going to be demand for a lot of these baby icons because they're still very good on this game, especially, I think this is the prime example right here of a baby icon card that is very in demand in this game. Carlos Alberto's 87 rated position change center back icon car this is a new icon to fifa this year he's about 800,000 coins right now and a couple weeks ago after black friday at his peak this card sold at 1.1 million coins i actually bought one myself for one one mil flat and sold it for 1.1 flat uh, a couple weeks ago right after black friday he's now down to 800k because people are scared you know this whole market downturn people lost a ton of coins in this market with the team of the year nominee cards and with all of this icon swaps thing heading into foot miss people have lost a ton of coins uh and for on the icons and on a lot of cards on the market regardless but uh, cards like this, right? They're going out of packs and their position changes. There's two really good examples right here. Carlos Alberto and, uh, not Zola, Zambrata, the other Italian. That's what I'm talking about. Gian, Gianluca Zambrata, the baby Zambrata card, still holding a decent price, right? 600 and, 660, 670,000 coins for this card right now. It's a position change card, right? We're going to go over to flip in and look at this one. 86 right wing back Zambrata. A lot of people like this card, right? His prime that is coming out is also a right back. His middle is a left back. So there's a couple position change things in here that I want to talk about. Zambrata is a little bit different than what um, Carlos Alberto is. But if you look at Carlos Alberto, right? The 90 rated right back card, 810,000 coins. The center back baby is also around the same price of 800K. And it's got eight less pace, but it's a center back, right? 
And I think that is what's going to make this card very interesting. This is like when people are talking about baby icons that could rise out of packs, this is the number one prime example in my opinion because out of all the Carlos Alberto cards, uh, besides the prime, I feel like this one, it's, if you're going to use a Carlos Alberto card at any point in foot, now you're probably using this one or you're going to use the prime, right? Because the prime is just a little bit better than the middle. Uh, the pace is the same and it's got like plus three defending, physical, dribbling, and shooting and plus one on passing. So this card right here being a center back and the position change is all that it needs, I think. I could see this card rising up like 100k out of packs just because of the position change. And that's one of the, the things that I wanted to talk about with some of these. I do feel like there are a very select few that are very meta icons that are very, very popular on this game that have the position changes that are going to rise out of packs. And again, it's the position change that really makes this card, to me, very useful and very valued and different from all the re the other baby cards that are going out of packs. So I feel like this one's going to maintain its value or maybe rise up a little bit. I mean, a lot of these cards on the market, the way that this market is rolling right now, we're in the middle of a promotion where it's all about SBCs. And, you know, people have been losing coins on the daily, panic selling cards and losing coins on their Mbappes, on their Neymars and stuff like that. Uh, and turning those coins into SBCs and even draining more coins out of their clubs as we continually get better S uh, footmas SBCs every day. So you keep seeing that. And that just means the market is getting weaker and weaker in terms of not having coins. And that's another reason why I think a lot of these icons have dropped in price, right? But I do still think there are some of them that have a little bit of a rebound left in them. That's the kind of card, though, that I do think you could see rise a little bit out of packs. Again, it's got to be meta and it's got to be a position. For, it to, for me to be a rise out of packs. Other than that, your your regular uh, baby and middle icons that are just kind of run of the mill, like maybe like a baby, that's Cliver, it's probably not a good example, but maybe like a baby Seedorf, right? Uh, baby Seedorf, I really don't see this card rising up too much out of packs because his best version of Seedorf is arguably the middle, right? And the middle is still going to be in packs. It's really cheap right now anyway, right around 990K. Um, but if people are using Seedorf, like this is the one that they use, right? This one's still going to be in packs. And the baby one, I think, is like 600, 500 something thousand coins. So yes, some of these cards could probably, you know, I think most of the baby icons are going to stay the same price as they go out of packs. If there's anybody that could rise, again, it's going to be this super meta, super usable and hyped up guys like a Del Piero, possibly. If you're going to use a version of Del Piero in this game, this is the one you want to use because of the pace, right? It just fits this game. Um, so that's kind of how I feel about the cards going out of packs and how I feel about a lot of the icons. Now, I want to talk about some of the low tier icons as well. Like I mentioned, I started to talk about Cliver, right? This like baby Cliver going out of packs, I really don't feel like it affects anything on this game. People are going to graduate from these cards. Like this card already is just really not that usable. We've had like that the Rashford card that came out this week is, is better than this card. Uh, and the Rashford SBC was what, 250K? This card right now is like almost the same price, 220,000 coins. Because people, the cards that are coming out in this game, the striker informs that you can get now for this sort of price are better than the icons in the game. So of course the icons have the linking capabilities, but uh, I just don't feel like a lot of these babies are going to rise unless they're super meta, maybe like a Zola, maybe like... Um, uh, again, like the Carlos Alberto, but basically if you look at the icon, the it's going to be kind of on a specific icon to icon basis, but if you look at that icon and the very best version of that card is the base, uh, the baby one, then I would say that's, those are kind of the only cards that are going to be, have a chance to rise out of packs. The, the, the babies that are really OP again, or position change. That's a really, the main thing I want you to focus on with the babies and stuff headed out of packs. But again, I really don't see a huge rise in a lot of these icons anyway in this market, because as I mentioned, with the team of the year nominees, Footmas going on, sucking a lot of coins off the market and just massive panic selling everywhere. I think the most of the rebound in the market is just going to be in like meta gold players, because maybe somebody who had like uh, maybe 5 million coins before with a couple icons over a mil. I mean, a lot of those icons may have dropped like 10 to 20%. It's a lo they're losing a lot of coins. They might be only able to buy one of those icons back without having to, you know, not being able to buy them both back now, thanks to the team of the year nominees being in packs and that just kind of lowering prices since they're getting packed so much and, you know, all that kind of stuff that's happening on the market in this game. So again, icons coming out. I don't think you're going to see the primes enter the market super fast. 
especially uh, like the ones that people want, right? Prime Eusebio, Prime Cruyff, Prime R9, Prime R10, Prime Vieira, Prime Hullet, Prime Carlos Alberto. I don't feel like it's going to take, you know, one day for there to be like a page of those cards on the market and their price to just drop down to a reasonable level. It's going to take some time, right? Team of the year is going to be a huge time on this game when the prime icons are in packs and they're going to get packed and packed and packed from lightning rounds even at their like low rate, right? There's a ton of packs open during team of the year. So that's when I would expect to see some of the prime icons come out into the game uh, because it, it's weird, right? This is something we've never seen in FIFA before. Again, with the primes coming out at a separate time in the game, uh, in years past, they've always started as being in packs right away, or at least when the prime SBC came out, they were in packs. So I feel like that is uh, a pretty interesting thing. This is the first year, right? We, we really don't know exactly what is going to happen with some of these cards just based on the fact that we've never had this situation before, all right? So that's how I feel about the icons. Again, I kind of feel like it's on an icon by icon basis. Um, just kind of had to look at that card and figure out, is this meta, are people going to use it? And uh, is it good at possibly rise out of packs because of the, the demand that it does have. Now, I'm gonna spend a little bit here at the end talking about icon swap set two. I wanna look at a prediction and I wanna talk about the requirements for the uh, objectives and how they might be a little bit different. So obviously we're gonna have a new set of icons swaps coming out. This is a prediction on Twitter from one of the guys that I follow, his name is Just I. It's right here, Just I Foot Trading. Give him a, chug him a follow if you're interested in FIFA trading, he's a great account. Um, but a lot, uh, this prediction right here I think is really positive, right? Um, but he makes a good point when he tweeted this out. He said that just a reminder, this is going to be taking us, this icon swaps is going to be taking us into February when primer, like the moments icons, primer icons, whatever you call them, they're going to be coming in packs when these cards, when this swaps is done, right? So, uh, in this last set of icon swaps, we had a couple prime cards, which were not actually in packs. So I think that he's right on here with having a few moments cards in this list because moments won't be in packs yet but i think it's possible that they could be in icon swaps uh set two so just kind of keep your eyes out for that i think he picked like a you know a really positive one here there's a lot of like good a lot of the names that we see in here are popular names right uh carlos alberto dalglish luis figo Vieira, garincha uh even like a baby cedorf rykard desai petit like a lot of the lower level and the mid level is like really good quality icons I do feel like there's not enough defenders in this one, possibly. Um, maybe in that middle range, if we could insert, I don't know if a Maldini would be too much to ask. Uh, but I feel like this is like an accurate description of what the top three could be for like 20 plus tokens. I feel like it's going to be the same amount of tokens because the amount of grinding that they asked us to do already for this, like it was, it was hard to do icon swaps, man. I was gunning for Zanetti. I was gunning for maybe Rio and Pep. Uh, and I ended up getting Roberto Carlos and having one extra swap. So I did 12, right? Uh, it's just hard to grind these swaps. It takes a lot of time, especially in this gameplay, which not a lot of people are happy with, and it requires tons of rivals and just grinding squad battles. It just people aren't very happy to do it, right? So that is why I think, uh, I think they need to give us some good icons. I really hope that they do give us some quality ones. And I think this is a decent prediction because it puts some big names in here. But it, I think it uh, accurately displays what kind of grinding you might have to do to uh, get some of those icons. Again, that might be a little bit positive having Dog Leash, Carlos Alberto, Vieira, Garincha, Henri, Mateus in the, all the same swaps. But we'll see, man. We'll see what EA really wants to do with these swaps. If they're just going to choke us out of it and like and you know make it almost a joke and and really not give us stuff then we'll see what happens with set two and we'll, and we'll be able to tell their motives by what they put out as a part of set two now again for the swaps and for the objectives how do i think these could change i honestly think that they're going to up the requirements and they're actually going to make it a little bit harder i think the objectives will probably stay the same because a lot of the objectives this year have been copy paste right uh, win five rivals matches using 11 Brazilian players. Maybe they do like win five, five rivals matches using French players because maybe there's a French player that's in one of the top three icon swaps like Zidane. If they do a Zidane, that would be insane. It definitely would not be his prime. It'd probably be like his baby or middle. And that would suck because right once the player gets into the icon swaps, no other version will be available in a, in a following icon swap, right? We're not going to see any more versions of Rio or... Um, 
or Drogba in Icon Swaps because we saw them in Icon Swap set one. So again, I just feel like the Icon Swap objectives are going to be about the same, right? And maybe instead of win four, it's win five or six or seven games using, again, the first owner objectives. I feel like it's going to be just copy paste, add a couple extra wins on. Same thing with the uh, same thing with these uh, single players, right? Maybe they switch up some of these lower level leagues. Maybe they do like the Turkish league, like Liga, I don't know, maybe like the Super League. Well, they already did Super League. Maybe, I don't know, maybe the Eredivisie. I think they did that in set one. I don't know, man. I really am intrigued to see what they do with these. I hope they incorporate the friendly modes, man. Can they please incorporate this new mode that they amped up so much this year? Friendlies? Like, let us win. Make us win 20. Make, not 20. Maybe that's too many. Win 10 games of, like, King of the Hill, right? Or maybe we have to go through every single one of these modes right here, right? No rules, long range survival, headers and volleys, max chemistry, swaps, mystery ball, and king of the hill. And maybe we have to win five, right? Win five matches in all these different modes online, and it can't be against a friend. That would make it kind of grindy, but still interesting, right? Playing these game modes are kind of fun, and we haven't had them utilized like at all this year in, in objectives. So I really hope that they incorporate those into icon swap objectives. Again, you see the timeline up here kind of by my face by the camera right here. One day, 14 hours from when I'm recording this video. Friday, I think it's like what, 6 p.m. UK-ish? Somewhere around like the Friday drop time is when we should see information about prime icons coming into packs, icons set number two, and possibly another promo on Friday, which we'll talk about tomorrow if we get some more information, possibly road to the final two. And it really seems like that could be very possible since we've been getting these other roads to the final uh, like SPCs, right? With the Diego Carlos and then today with the player pick between uh, Kent and Forrest. So I do feel like that promo could be coming this weekend as well. And we'll talk about more of that kind of stuff again tomorrow as we do get a chance. But again, I just want to get your, it's a long video today, boys, but there's just a lot to talk about with these icon cards. And there's so many people that want icons in their team and they want to be able to get them. And of course, like I mentioned with icon swaps coming out, there could be a Vieira, like maybe this middle Vieira card gets into icon swaps and boom, you see this price go down a little bit because people are going to think they can grind to that card. You know, I really wouldn't think that that would happen with too many cards because, of course, if it's Vieira, he's probably going to be like somewhere between 15 and 20 tokens. So it's going to take a while to grind to that card. So I don't think the impacts of that would be immediate, but I do think it is possible that we can have some market movements on Friday based on what cards get into icon swaps. All right. It's going to be an interesting Friday, boys. It's going to be interesting looking at these primes in the market. It's going to be interesting. Uh, as Again, we keep getting footmas content and again, seeing the second set of icon Swaps. If you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.